What is up everybody? Today we're looking at how to find the area of a parallelogram. Let's go. Okay, but first, what is a parallelogram? Well, a parallelogram is any shape that has parallel sides and four sides. So we can see with all of these examples, we have four sides, but we also have sets of parallel lines. This is parallel to this, this is parallel to the opposite side, and so on and so on, all the way around these four shapes. And how are we gonna find the area of these parallelograms? Well, we're gonna follow these three steps. First, we're gonna find the base and the height, then we'll use a formula, then we're gonna solve to find the area. Let's have a look what that looks like with question one. So first, we need to find the base. Well, the base is obviously what it sort of sits on, the bottom line. So we can use our knowledge here and understand that if this is seven centimeters, then opposite must also be seven centimeters. So my base is seven and my height, I can see here, is three. Now I'm gonna use a formula and the formula is area equals base times height. And in a rectangle like this one, it's super simple because the height is just the side of this width here, so three centimeters. So I can do area equals base, which is seven times three, therefore area equals 21. But 21 what? We need to have some sort of measurement here at the end. So what we've actually done is we've chopped this rectangle into squares, just like this. We had seven centimeters at the top and three centimeters down the side, so I've made seven columns and three rows, giving me a total of 21 squares. So therefore my answer is gonna be 21 centimeter squared because each of the centimeters is one centimeter by one centimeter. Okay, but let's have a look at question two, which is a bit harder. Now we can see here that we have again the base. And what I know is that if this length here is seven centimeters, then again, this down here must also be seven centimeters. So my base is seven, but this time my height is not three. Three is the length of this line here, which is not the height. The height is given to us with this dotted line, and we can see that it says two centimeters. Now it's very important that we only use the height for this formula and not this length, otherwise we're gonna get a wrong answer. And I'm gonna show you more about how this works in a minute, but let's put it into our formula. So I have area equals base times height. And now this time I have area equals base, which is seven, and my height, which is two. So therefore area equals 14. 14 what? That's right, centimeters squared. So why does this work? How can we use this height of two and not want to use this side length of three? Well, a parallelogram is basically just a rectangle that's been pushed to one side. It's just leaning over a little bit. If you imagine we take this little triangle shape here and we put it on this other side, we're gonna fill in the gap and we're gonna get left with this rectangle shape. And what do we know about rectangles? Well, to find the area, we times the height by the base. So it's gonna be the same thing with the parallelogram. All we're doing is times in the height, which is two, by the base, which is seven. One last example. This is a little bit harder because it's on this slant. It looks at a weird angle, but again, remember we're finding the base. So this would not be my base, even though it looks like it's on the base, because that is actually just a corner. So my base would actually be this line here, a side that could sit on the floor. So if this is the base, then this would be the height. So using this, I can put it straight into my formula again. Area equals base times height, area equals base, which is 13, because this 13 would be the same as this length, times 14 of my height, therefore area equals 182, and this time again, meters squared. Okay, there you go. Let's just think of a few things to remember by looking at our steps again. So first, we wanna find the base and the height. And sometimes the base or the height can be a little bit hard to find. Then we're gonna use our formula, and our formula is area equals base times height. And then we're just gonna solve the formula to get our area. So here are some questions for you. Have a go at working these out and put your answers in the comment section. I'm gonna try and mark them all. And there you go. That is finding the area of parallelograms. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna see you in another video, but for now, peace out.